new video guys and in this video what I'm going to show you is how to install Oracle Linux OEL 7.6 on VirtualBox and that too when you are on MacBook. So now I have MacBook and on this MacBook I have already installed the VirtualBox. So first things first what you have to do is you have to download the VirtualBox for Mac. You don't have to download it for Windows, right? So download the virtual box for Mac. You can search it on Google, download, install and start the Oracle virtual box. Now, once you start the Oracle virtual box, you will see this interface, click on new and give a name to your virtual machine. Like I tend to keep a very descriptive name because I get to know what I'm trying to achieve with the virtual machine. For example, I let's take if this is a production server, then I would give it as prod underscore SRV. That's production server. And the operating system would definitely be Linux. And we want to install Oracle 64 bit Linux. Click on continue. Tend to assign minimum 4 GB RAM 4096 and click on continue. We have to create a hard disk. And the minimum hard disk which I would recommend is you must create that should be of 100 GB click on create. Now once your VM is ready what we have to do is go to settings click on storage go to this empty and we have to load the OEL 7.6 ISO file. So let me choose the ISO file and once again you have to keep the file downloaded. So I have this ISO file here click on open. Right, the ISO file is loaded, click on OK, done. Now start the virtual machine. So once you start the virtual machine, you can see it. So let me put it to full screen. I think so, we have to use the scaled mode. All right, this should be fine. I'll minimize this one. All right, so click inside the VM, hit enter. And by the way guys, this method is the fastest way of installing Linux and quickly start using your Linux server, right? So now the installation will start and just focus on the screen guys. If you see the second last line, it says press escape to abort check. So I'm pressing escape on my system, right? So the installer, the GUI installer will start now and once it starts, I'll show you how to quickly set up your Linux lab. And by the way, guys, you can follow the same steps on your Windows machine as well. So give me a minute, guys. I guess we'll have to go back to full screen mode. I know this will be small, guys. Please bear with me and click on continue. Now you have to wait until these icons fade away. So you can see installation source. It is actually checking for it. We'll have to wait. So installation source is local media. Software selection will still be minimal install because this server, we don't want to install GUI and we will always connect via PuTTY or some other SSH tool. So always keep it minimal install. Installation destination, just let it be automatic configure partitioning and click on done. Everything is set. And the network and host name is pretty important where you have to give the details. So because this is prod server, I think I would go with prod.dbhnss.com. Click on apply. So you must see this changed host name over here. Now regarding the network, I mean, I know the network details in my system and also I remember it. So what I'll do is I'll quickly configure it. But for you guys, you have to check your network settings. 192.168.1. I'll assign it as 88 and net mask as 255, 255, 255, 0. Gateway is 192.168.1.1. And the DNS server would be the Google DNS server 8.8.8.8. .8 click on save and switch it off once, switch it on, click on done. And the beauty is you can simply go ahead and start the Linux installation. Over here, you have to change the root password. So give a root password, which is mandatory. Right, click on done. Now, once you click on done, it will complain that the password you gave is too weak. 
but that's okay you can click on done once again and it's over now you can see it is installing the oracle linux on the server and once it is done remember guys i mentioned this is the fastest way of installing linux on virtualbox right you have very minimal installation setup and once you are done with this what you do is every time you start the server you connect via the ssh tools so let us wait for the installation to be finished and meanwhile we'll take a break all right guys as you can see the installation is completed so click on reboot and you know what the best part your server is all ready so what you have to do is simply let the server reboot so the server will be running in the back end and meanwhile because i am on mac so what you have to do is you have to connect to terminal because we do have putty for mac but i think you'll have to purchase it separately it is designed by third party company but when you are on linux because even uh, mac is designed on unix actually which is similar to linux actually linux is similar to unix so this will have a terminal so what i can do is i can perform a simple ssh so this is the server you can see running behind you can see prod login and what this means is the server is running and as we did not install the gui interface so you won't see anything on the server so ssh root at 192.168.1.88 that's the ip address i gave to that server let's see what it has to say looks like this will take time i think we have to make one change guys so what you have to do is go to virtualbox go to settings of this vm under network change is change it to bridged adapter and click on ok i think that should be fine so now i'll first cancel this one this is not required and let us try to connect looks like okay we'll try to ping okay seems like oracle virtual box is having some problem that's okay so this seems like it is aborted we'll start once again and then we'll see what's going on So meanwhile I'll keep my ping command ready and I see that server is up and running you can see over here the server is up and we are able to ping to the server now ssh root at 192.168.1.88 yes type yes and type the root password you gave it while creating the or installing the OEL and that's it you are inside the virtual machine so host name you see the host name right so that's it guys like the fastest way of installing OEL on Mac I mean I use this method which is the minimal installation method but one more thing guys whenever you do this if you go to support.dbgenesis.com so any server that I create for my own practice also there are a couple of things that I do on each server the first thing is I'll update the etc host file so vi slash etc slash host file now go to the end of the file give the IP address 192.168.1.88 give the entire host name prod.dbhnss.com hit tab and just give an alias name that is prod save this file that is step one step two is because i'm using it to for my own practice i will disable the firewall otherwise when i'm configuring the listeners or some other services i will have to open the ports separately or sometimes i forget to open the ports then the listeners will not work so the best way is i completely keep the firewall disabled on my own virtual machines so if you go to support.dbgenesis.com just type firewall and you will see an article which is like disable firewall on like can you see disable fire, linux firewall if in case you just want to enable the port you can use the first result but i'll go with disabling linux firewall click on this one 
and I'll keep it simple I'll stop the firewall service first of all so I'll copy this I'll paste it in the terminal hit enter and you can permanently disable the firewall using this command so once this is done paste enter done your server setup is ready now this is where what you can do is like you can continue to install oracle or perform anything like you want to perform yum installer everything i mean this server will act like a very normal GUI Linux server and this is the exact configuration I use for all our customers also whenever we are deploying any new servers whether it is cloud my personal own virtual machine whether it is on customer servers physical servers anything we use the exact same method for fastest Linux installation. That's all guys I hope you enjoyed this video and in case you want more installation videos I would want you to please comment below this video so that I can create more videos like this. And also guys, please help me in my vision. We have to reach more number of DBAs on this planet. Please spread this word, share these videos so that our fellow DBAs can come along on this platform. That's all for now guys. I'll see you all in my next videos. Bye.